This week in class, the main lesson that we learned or talked about was perception versus reality within the criminal justice system. So what this means is like, when you're going into a situation, there's going to be multiple perceptions on what is actually happening in that versus what the actual reality is. There's the perception of what the community sees. There's a the perception of what the victim sees. And there's definitely the perception of what the officer sees. And within each of those perceptions can be total different opinions. Um, obviously, you can see that a victim is going to experience a big different side of the story than the actual officers. So obviously, there's always going to be different perceptions on what actually happened during a crime or an investigation or whatever it may be. But the important thing for a cop to do is distinguish that from what the actual reality is. As I said, it's important to remember that the reality of the criminal justice system is completely different than our perceptions could be. In the video that we watched called Police Brutality Motion Graphic, um, we learned that, you know, there is this big perception that there is so much police brutality happening in today's world. And usually that perception is from the community or the victims, not from the actual officers themselves. And so from that um, motion graphic, they were able to tell us the fact that out of all the complaints um, or all the times that a police officer like had some kind of contact with a victim, whether that was, you know, like a car crash, an actual like victim, an observer, like out of all of those times, less than half of 1% was actually had evidence of like, that being actually police brutality so in like in the perspective of the officer or of the criminal justice system no, the reality is we do not show that much police brutality as people think we do as it out of all the cases only less than one percent has happened um i think that's important for officers to realize because on like social media on news media through celebrities all we hear about is the fact that police brutality is a thing and I'm not saying it isn't but the reality is the percentages show that it's less than one percent in this week's discussion um I decided to write about the recent George Floyd killing and um about the Black Lives Matter movement movement in general as you can clearly see, the perception is from society and from all victims is that cops are racist. And I'm not saying that some cops aren't, and I'm not saying there aren't bad cops out there. What I said was, <clears throat> you shouldn't automatically assume that because of one racist cop that a whole organization is systematically racist. Um, you know, I think wanting to become a cop, it's made it harder as you know, because people are screaming, like, defund the police, they're all racist. I can totally see why their perception is like that. But the reality is, is that there is so many other factors that go into those situations um, of when a white cop kills a black man. It's not, it. you know, obviously people are going to focus on the race part. But, you know, there's, you know, a high sense of what's also happening the actual situation is that guy carrying a weapon is he endangering others or the police officers um and i just think that a lot of people choose not to look at that um i'm not saying every case isn't like that you know i know that there are bad cops and bad um all that but i think the reality is that very very few people in the full criminal justice organization are these bad cops